This screencast is looking at the ventilatory system with an explanation of the mechanics of ventilation in the human lungs. So this is area 2.1.4. We're going to start off with inspiration and we're going to start off with quiet breathing. Quiet breathing just means at rest. So the muscles that are used to assist in increasing the thoracic cavity are our intercostal muscles. They elevate the ribs and sternum, so help increase thoracic cavity. Our abdominal muscles relax, meaning that our stomach will end up protruding, again increasing thoracic cavity. And the diaphragm contracts, so it moves down, which increases the superior, inferior dimension of the, th of the thoracic cavity. So if we go back to what we mean by superior towards the head, inferior towards the feet, so we're looking at the vertical distance of the thoracic cavity. Now, as the thoracic cavity increases in size, the pressure decreases in the cavity. Now, that creates a difference in pressure gradient. So the pressure in the atmosphere is much greater than what is in the thoracic cavity. Therefore, the air will rush down in and fill our lungs. When we're doing exercise, we need a greater depth of breath and they refer to that as laboured breathing. So the additional muscles that are going to help with that are in and around the neck. And some books would also say that the shoulder um, is also going to assist. Moving on to expiration, so breathing out. Our muscles of inspiration are again around our neck, our pectorals, our intercostals again, our diaphragm. Now they're involved, it doesn't mean they're actually shortening, because here the diaphragm relaxes, so it moves upwards. Our abdominal muscles contract, so flattening the stomach. And what that does by decreasing the thoracic cavity, pressure increases, therefore forcing air out of the mouth due to a lower atmospheric pressure. So from a website, it's probably worth pausing this at the moment and reading. But the first part here basically explains what we've just gone over. Here are a couple of diagrams that look at the pressure um, between oxygen, carbon dioxide at different places and how that's going to affect respiration. Where we have areas of high pressure, gases move to an area of low pressure. So when we breathe in, there is a high pressure in the atmosphere, a low pressure in the lungs, so the air moves into the lungs. And from there, we're interested in the pressure of carbon dioxide versus oxygen. So if we look at where the oxygen is going to move from, it moves from the alveoli into the blood. Carbon dioxide moves from the blood to the the alveoli to then be expelled. The oxygen carried within the haemoglobin in the red blood cell moves 
around the body. Now, as the oxygen is being used, the pressure of oxygen drops. The pressure of carbon dioxide increases in the blood because it's attracting carbon dioxide from the muscle. So as the blood returns to the alveoli, we see by this stage the pressure of carbon di of oxygen sorry, is much less than in the alveoli. So oxygen will end up coming into the blood, which is this over here. The pressure of carbon dioxide is now greater than what is in the alveoli, so moves into the alveoli from the blood to be expelled. If we look at it, say, with respect to concentration, gases move from an area of high concentration to low concentration. We breathe in. We end up with high concentration of oxygen in the alveoli. It therefore moves into the blood. We have high concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood, moves to a low concentration in the alveoli, gets breathed out. When we come to our muscles down here, or our tissues, there's a low concentration of oxygen in the muscle, so the oxygen moves from the blood to the muscle. High concentration of carbon dioxide in the muscle from energy production, so it moves to the area of low concentration in the blood, and again we get the movement through to the lungs for the oxygen to diffuse from the blood into the alveoli to be breathed out. Down here is another diagram that represents the same thing. So you may wish to pause it once I get it in the right spot to have 